of my goals in our time together is to have you leaving our time having as much a good question as an answer. Um, reality is you're smarter than me, you know your world, you know your life, I don't. So my goal is to give you a question. Here's the question of the day. The question of the day is, what is the opposite of love? Answer that question right now in your head for a second. You got it? Okay. What's your answer? You know, most of the time when I ask people this question, the answer is hate. And then I go, buzz, wrong. The opposite of love is not hate. The opposite of love is apathy. The opposite of love is the person walks by and you have no connection or passion to them at all. Reality is that hate and love are connected as two sides to the same coin. The coin is called passion. That person controls you. You're connected to them. Whether it's love or it's hate, you care about them. You're not apathetic. So now we go into your relationships. And as you look through your relationships, you've got all kinds of people that you might hate or you might dislike. Now keep in mind an old phrase called, those who anger us control us, which is completely uncool, by the way. And yet, truth be told, we have a lot of hate or a lot of anger connected to people, which is really the flip side of love. So I'd like you to briefly look at your relationships as we leave here together, and I'd like you to ask yourself, gee, if I hate this person and I'm passionate towards them, which is better for me? To love them, which is one type of passion, or to hate them? It's not likely I'll ever be apathetic towards them, which is really the opposite of love. You know, maybe I can figure out a way to make it from hate until love. Maybe instead of being angry at my child, I can learn to love my child differently. Or being angry at my employer, I can learn to love my employer differently. The choice is yours. You can leave here deciding to love. You can leave here deciding to hate. But if you're honest with yourself, there's very few things in some of those relationships that you're apathetic about. Apathetic about. So go, unless you can become apathetic, choose which one's best for you, and you and I know that answer. It's to love. So go back and look at some of your difficult relationships. Recognize how much they control you and switch it from hate to some form of love. Until next time, I wish you the power to take your passion and put it on the right thing. Take care.